Well, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Heavy Metal RC. Well, I was sitting here bullshitting with my little FCX24, and I said, hey, you know, in my video, I always say it's perfect for how I drive it, so I decided to show you assholes how I drive my FCX24. It's literally bullshitting on the sofa. I don't give a fuck how you like yours. This FCX24 will destroy a SCX24. If you don't think so, you must be fucking retarded. This bitch has two-speed transmission and runs like a FCX24 already upgraded. So I'm gonna show you assholes how I use my FCX24 in all my little crawlers. Have a look. Let me show you guys what I do, how I use mine. I don't take these outside. These little, S, these little 24 scales do not go outside. I have big crawlers for that. I don't like, I, and it's just me, I don't like the way these little ones perform outside. What I do, I run these shits all day. And I just run them, I just make little courses. I have a long ass couch downstairs. And the same with all crawling. Use your imagination. Pretend it's a real vehicle. Call over. Like right now, I'm doing my kids' board game boxes. I just find random shit and set it down. This FMS is so good, man. I cannot believe some people are comparing it to the SCX24. That's not from an experience. I've had three SCX24s. This thing, you know what this acts like? The SCX24, once you put a brushless Furitech in it. This is completely stock. And it goes that slow. And then it'll haul ass. Now I know the tires on rocks and shit suck. I don't have any experience with that, but I've seen tons of videos. But the tires for what I use it for, which is bullshitting inside, are so damn good. So damn good. It's not the best lighting in here. I'll be bullshitting, watching a movie. See the other one parked, that 6x6 sucks, that panda one. That one sucks, man. It's going to need some work. Matter of fact, that fear tech that was in my SCX24 is going in that. This FMS, I put a little bit of grease in the shocks because I lost the O-rings. It doesn't, for this, it doesn't need, the shocks are not a big deal. Now it's just pushing the box. Must be hung up. Yeah. Like right now it's 25 degrees out. I don't want to go out there. But, you know, it's my hobby. I'm addicted to RC. That's why I get these little things. So you're scrolling over a sweater. I got a pillow there. Obstacles. I just love watching the suspension work. And the low speed control is so damn good. Here's a 10 point turn. Servo so damn good. That SCX servo was the biggest piece of crap. Might as well be W.O. Toys. Now, I like the SCX6. Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't like it anymore. But I loved it when it was here. When I had it. I loved it when I had it because it was the only damn thing you could get. Oh, shit. Let me take that book off. Oops. That's my... Oh! Look at this baby crawl. Whatever you have laying around, it'll just crawl right over. That reminds me, here's my SCX24. What I turned it into. Tons, dude. And let me tell you, I say it's better and it's not rookie shit. This is every brass piece you can get. That's mofo shit. Furitech, Furitech chassis, good years. Like... Bent that shock, I dropped it. I don't even run this shit anymore. It's doo doo. It's not doo doo. But this is just a quick bullshit video on how I use my indoor crawlers. Nothing, I don't have a course, I don't have nothing. I go, I sit on the couch whenever I'm off, 
edit videos, fucking watch movies, whatever. If I'm sitting on the couch, this little bitch is next to me and it's on. I'll turn it off, let it sit for a little bit, turn it back on, throw some shit on the couch, crawl over it. Super fun. I know it sounds weird or lame or whatever. Whatever, fuck you. It's super fun. 